Good morning. This is Robert Pultz. How's everybody doing? Let me get all the setups here. We're sharing the screen. Oh, it says you should be seeing the screen. Okay. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is a request uh, from Carol uh, about looking up Susan Holman. Uh, 1857 to 1929, uh, and possibly died in Crowder, Oklahoma, which is part of Pittsburgh County, for those people that don't know. And uh, basically, she may be buried, uh, may, may be buried what was under the lake at the time, or under the lake today. At the time, it may have been a family plot or something. And so our uh, what you're seeing on the screen is the collections of the Oklahoma Historical Society that I've been involved with. The first one is my personal collection. Next one is a, another personal collection of mine. And uh, there's another uh, personal collection of mine. And then what, what we're looking for is the Corps of Engineer Records uh, 2015. Gray's relocated as a result of Lake Yafala Project. Now, the originals are in this collection at this location. Uh, and it also may be at this location. It looks like there may be two possibilities. Here are some of the other collections that I have there, uh, involvement with there. And uh, so just so you have a, a complete set. Okay, now that's where the originals are. Uh, this was uh, uh, a project that uh, I managed. Uh, uh, there were many people that worked on it. Uh, you, if you wish to buy this project, this disc, you go to the Pittsburgh County Genealogical Society webpage. It looks like this. And you come down to Books and Publications. And you come down here and keep coming down, keep coming down. It says Grace Relocated as a Result of Lake Yafala Project. Okay. And this will give you a summary of the project. And you'll also see this here, which is all the the uh, surnames that are involved in it. And uh, last I saw, this was a real reasonably priced disc, and I don't know, uh, I don't have the current price list here. But uh, this will give you an idea of what's inside of it. That's a sample of one of the graves. Uh, do -do -do -do. Let's see. Uh, there's another another one. That's a dis, uh, de detailed one. And, uh, okay, that's a presentation. Of, uh, you, you can download that presentation. It's the presentation that was done on it. Okay, this was done in 2010. And so that's, let's go over and look at the document. This is what you get when you get it. It opens up to this page. You hit on index on any of these files, and it'll open up the, the folder in there. So... This is the master index. It was done March 3rd, uh, 2012 was the final. Uh, it was copyrighted by the Pittsburgh County Genealogical Society and the Avala uh, um, Genealogy Society, which is a part of the Avala Library. Okay. Uh, this is the, uh, Pittsburgh County in Oklahoma and the Avala Library in, uh, in McIntosh County, Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, here's the team. Good looking team. We did a did a, a strong effort in this this thing. Uh, we did two projects. This and and we did the images for our the uh, indexes for the re, uh, for things. Now, these documents were discovered at the bottom of a filing cabinet in deteriorating condition. We preserved them by scanning them, and then we took and, and took the final records and gave them to the Oklahoma Historical Society. And um, that was basically because we wanted them to, to take and last. Okay. Continue the images. You can go through them book by book, but the best thing to do is come down here and take a first name. This is the main index. And we're looking for Holman. And H O L. H O L H O G H N would be right here. Fortunate thing is that we're not there. So let's uh, let's look at something. Let's take hope. 
so that you have at least an idea of what's there. This is how the records come. You'll see that they have a lot of unknowns in them. Um, they just didn't know whose grave they were unmarked, but they they went out and there was a procedure that they used. It's also scanned and included in the documentation. And uh, they used rods to take and go down. And so this is what the graves looked at before and after. This is before, this is after. Okay. And uh, so anyway, and if you desire to take and find, well, let's go back past the name index. Uh, I've got to remember how all this works. Okay, uh, cemetery index. This is the index to the cemeteries. Okay, this is the name that's used in the core documentation. They gave everything a number. We, we uh, took those numbers and the descriptions, and we started taking and mac uh, matching them. Um, they gave... The core gave letters as for the the place where they were relocated to, and we went and took those numbers, matched with these numbers, and these are the names that you should find. So these are the various cemeteries that are out there. Okay, so that's important. That's important to know if you're using this document. Uh, and I'll link to that cemetery index. With map pages. Okay, map pages are here. Uh, this is a master document that was is used by the Pittsburgh County Genealogy Society, and uh, it only covers Pittsburgh County. But these are all the cemeteries that are covered in this Pittsburgh County documentation beyond this book. And so there, uh, there are two pieces of it, and this is it merged together. So you have each uh, the name of the well, name of the cemetery is over here. Uh, this is in District Two. You'll see it's broken down into districts. Move it over here, and you can see the numbers on the on the page. There's number four. See there. So this was a, a document used internally at uh, at uh, Pittsburgh County. Now, here's the. Defin definition used by the core for that cemetery. I uh, didn't get the number. It was letter D. Okay, so let's see if I can find that really quickly. Cemetery 8 there, site D. Okay, it gives you the township and everything for it. Okay. Uh, the large map for site D. This, uh, this was done by a member of the society. Who happens to know how to do the uh, national maps? And he uh, he located the the cemetery. He brought it up the, on a on a modern day map. Uh, and that's the detailed map is next. So this is the detailed map, and there's the cemeteries within this location. And. This is the color version of that map. So, yeah, maps to the cemetery sites uh, as best as we could identify them. And uh, so they are not all filled in, but they're, they're as best as, as can be identified. This could be an ongoing project if somebody wanted to take and, and finish filling out the blank pages. Okay. So that's basically what the, docu what the document is uh, and what you have in it. Uh, so, anyway, I thought that that would be a useful exercise, that there might be some people that are interested in it, that are researching into the Pittsburgh County and the McIntosh County. And uh, this covers three counties, and I'm trying to think of the third county. It starts with an H. Um, basically, pieces of them. Um, and what the what they did when they did the, did the, the uh, lake is they identified all the the cemeteries, including cemetery, a lot of these cemeteries were on personal farms. Uh, so they were the, you know, it was a, a tradition at the time uh, to take and bury your family uh, right there on the farm uh, that you were working. And so a lot of these were small farms that, uh, that were there. 
So the directions are there, the description of uh, where they're at. There's a description of both the the place where they found the graves and the place that they moved the graves to and that kind of detail. So hopefully this is useful to somebody. If uh, if, it, if you do use it, let me know. Uh, so this is Robert. And let's see. You have a great day now.